Hey everyone, it's Joe and Isaiah from The Automator. And uh, earlier today, we, we were working on a project where we're looping over a file and saving it using the file append to a local file. And years ago, Maestrith and I were working on a project where we were really hammering. We were getting a lot of data and writing to the hard drive. And we were having some problems where um, we would lose data. And it was really a mystery at the time. And after a lot of digging, we finally realized when at the time when you would write very fast using a file append to a given file, not only are you using a lot of resources, but um, because the file was under Dropbox, it was actually losing data because of Dropbox doing stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, so one way is you could put like a mod or something and use it in your loop to say, hey, write every 50 lines or whatever instead of every one, right? So that helps with some stuff. But just recently we, we uncovered um, through, of course, a little bit of like going, what in the world's going on here? Another problem now, again, with Dropbox, but it's probably going to be with any sort of a file sharing thing that yeah. sometimes yeah. Um, the file Dropbox or your tool will lock the file that you're trying to write to. And when you try to write to it, something else has it. It's kind of interesting, as we were talking about how a lot of us curse that like Microsoft Excel <laughs> or Word. Yeah. Like, hey, some yeah, other file like, has this open and you yeah. can't do it. Nah, 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 yeah. nah. Um, <laughs> even, even a text file, you know, right. you'll you'll have it, you'll open it, import it into Excel, and then you go to open it in something else, and it's like, no, no, this file's locked. And you're like, it's yeah. a text why, file. why can't I just yeah, yeah, exactly? So so here's the thing. What I want to do, kind of like explain. There's many methods to do the same thing. The ones that you guys used actually solved the issue for you at that moment. Right. But what I'm trying to uh, explain is a concept, how I would do it and why I would do it that way. Basically, if you are opening a file on your, um, on your program and you're just going to append a few lines, then use file append. It's not a big issue. Uh, if you are, if you use the option of, appending every certain amount of time, every 100 lines, 1,000 lines. That's not an issue either, uh, if it solves. <laughs> now, the problem is you would have to take into consideration that maybe one of those 100 times when the loop goes 100 times, whenever you're going to try to write, maybe at that particular moment, Dropbox is actually accessing the file as well, and you might have the conflict. It's not going to happen as often, but it might happen anyways, right? And correct me if I'm wrong, but even if it was a network drive and multiple people are doing something, for example, same problem. Right. Yep. Now, if you are just having a file open, like for example, the editors do this very often um, Notepad, Notepad, uh, uh, VS Code. Uh, when you open a file, you're not modifying data all the time. You might be just reading it. So they open it in a way that it is shared and you open it in that editor and you can go ahead and open it in another one. So that's normal, that's okay. But in my case, I was going through a lot of data and I want to write it to a file, but now I want to make sure that the file is not accessed by any, anybody else. And that's what I wanted to show you how to do that. If you are interested in that, if that's your solution, then you can do that too. Um, and I would personally recommend that whenever you're doing a loop, so if you're looping through a lot of data and in your loop, you're going to write data into the file, then I would suggest you lock in the file first within the duration of the loop, at least. Then later on, you just release the file and do whatever you want with it. But during the loop, you don't want anybody else touching that file. So the way how we do this, um, file append does not, sir, go ahead. Zoom in just a little for, for people. Oh yeah, sure, 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 sure. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. So let me just make it a little bit bigger. There we go. So um, file append does not have a way of locking the file, if I remember correctly. You can specify the text, where well, you're going to put it, and overwrite it. That's it. And, and here's, I think, the reason why we can say it definitely doesn't. Because every time you use file append, it opens the file, it writes it, and then it closes, closes it. Closes it. Right, exactly. That's what it's doing. Now, right. some people might say, oh, so that means that using file open is better performance. No, the performance is basically the same uh, well, by using file open. Doing. Right. But, but in general, the, the performance hit is not going to be noticeable. And, and I could say as a programmer, like the difference is negative. Neg I'd and still I think say it depends what you're doing. I, I actually remember a, a, a thread that Lexicus was answering that question. And he said, like, it's the same thing. And I was like, okay, dude, if you say so. <laughs> so in any case, I would just say like, here's the thing. You 
select the file location. I just put it in a variable just for clarity. You just use the file open. And here's where you decide what to do with the file. So now you can select uh, the options read and write. You can select the option to append, okay? Or you can put them all. Those are all the access that you want for that file. After that, you can restrict stuff using the minus um, uh, sign. So you can actually gain access for read, write, and append, and then you restrict the reading so nobody can read to it or nobody can write to it. You can actually select what you want to remove. But if you do not specify anything, the file is completely locked. Nobody can read, write, or <laughs> append to it. So that's what I would usually do. I would just select append because I'm going to be appending data to it. Um, the good thing about append is that if the file doesn't exist, it just creates it for you. It's not the same when you use the read only or if you use only the others, it's not going to. So think about append as read, write, and if it doesn't exist, just create it. That's what it means for appending. So this here locks the file. What I'm doing now is that I'm going to loop and write uh, 5,000 lines into that thing. And you will notice what happens. I'm just writing into a place that Dropbox has access to it. And I have Dropbox running here. And this is the difference, what is going to happen. When I start running this loop, down here, if you can read, it says cannot sync the file. So even so Dropbox is trying to do something with it. As soon as the file showed up, it's trying to do something with it. But I actually just told my script, do not let anybody touch that file until I finish with this loop. And that is actually, in my opinion, a better approach to this type of situations. And I would usually, I would only use it when you're looping writing in a loop. If you're just appending one line, two lines, a few things, uh, you don't need to lock the file for writing. But if you're doing a loop and you don't know how big the loop is, because that's what I was doing, I was just reading a bunch of data and just appending what I needed and removing the other stuff, I don't know how much that is, then locking the file is a better uh, mechanism. And after you finish the loop, you just close the file and continue doing whatever you were supposed to be doing. And just to clarify, line seven, your sleep, that that is solely just so the thing didn't end so fast, right? Yeah, exactly. I, I, I just wanted to show that uh, it is locking uh, uh, Dropbox. But if we go ahead and run it without that, of course, the, the thing is going to be so fast that you're going to be like, right. okay. Uh, I just didn't what? want if people are new to this that like, oh, I have to sleep after I write. No, 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 no. You can just simply delete that and just have a one-liner in there, your loop, writing, whatever it is. And once you do that, you notice that it just disappeared. So it is something that if you do this, you're not going to even see that something happened. That's the reason why I put the, the sleep in there. But um, just make sure to understand the concept of the difference between file append and file open. File open gives you a little bit more control over the file itself. That's all. Yeah. And so basically, again, if you have anything or anyone that might be trying to access your file while you're doing something, this is when, hey, it's really worth looking at this. And the file object does so much more as well, right? Yes. It's, it's crazy. The other stuff it does, it's really advanced. You don't have to use, like he's using it here. It's not really complex, but it, it can be, you know, if you get it. <laughs> so, so, so just to kind of like demystify, you just open, write, and close. And file append is exactly that what it does. A pen, file append, you tell a text that you want to put into a file, the txt, it will open that file, write to it, and then close it on one line. So you're doing the same thing. The difference is that in this situation, you decide when to close it. File append does not uh, allow you to define it's when to close the file. Yeah. Even though there is another way that you can do this, and with the loop command, there is a way for when you loop read a file. Right. When you loop read a file, you can read the file that you're going to read in file, right? And you have an output file. If you have an output file right here, if you have that, right? 
you have an in file and an out file. This out file, whenever you use file append like this, it doesn't close the file until it finishes the loop. That's another method that you can do. Oh, I haven't heard that. That's okay. Oh, yes. It is very, it is something that if you go to the. Yeah, that, um, it's, it's, honestly, to me, that's not good. I, I mean, <laughs> it's, just, it's not, I mean, we just right. said the file append, it's opening and closing, but now you just said not all the time. No, and this is, that's, that's why it gets really confusing. So here's the thing. In that case, it's not file append who is doing that. It's the loop read. So if you use loop, uh, if you use file append by itself outside of this loop, it opens and closes all the time. And if you use a normal loop, like a normal loop, like loop 5,000 file append, it opens and closes 5,000 times. It does it. Now in this specific loop, the loop read input file. If you have an output file here, it gives you that, that is kept open do, during the duration of the loop. But that is not file append. That is this type of loop specifically. But well, it, 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 is, it is confusing. Append. Well, the loop keeps it open and file append just adds to it, <laughs> to this special file. It is a special type of file. That's what it's got. <laughs> yeah, but, but I'm not going to agree with you. It's not file append because the command is actually file. I mean, it says file append. Now I, I understand what you, you're saying. It's telling it to do something different. And, and yeah, it is says you have to just put one parameter there because usually to file append, you have to put the text that you want to append and the file that you want to use. If you put a file like this, it's going to open and close the file. Right. Now, in this case, if I just put some text here, as I'm not specifying what the file is, it is taking this one that the loop open and, it, and the loop is going to close it at the end. So it is okay. It, the, the, the idea is that is another option, but that only works when you're reading a file that you want to actually append to another location. If you're not reading a file, this is not going to work out with file append. Yeah, I'd still say to me that on line five, the word file append there should have been something slightly different. Different, right? <laughs> Said yeah. it's not really file append well then don't use the darn word there <laughs> yeah well it is a little bit confusing but uh just notice do the you know in version two parameters is is it still left over in version two um i think yeah i think that part it hasn't been like modified this is the file read input file output file and again you do have a file that is going to be kept during the duration of the loop and file append your, works like that too. So it is it is something that it is a little bit confusing to understand. But if you want my my specific opinion on it, the one that actually opens and closes the file is the loop command, not the file append. So that's that's what is going on in there. And the file append. Again, it's a special find append because file append usually well, takes two all, parameters, right? That's but, what I'm saying is, is yeah. it, it should have been append file and then <laughs> something else, file. right? Yeah, append text or something like append. Right. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, hey, I'm not knocking. Uh, no, no, but, but me, basically, it, it's just, like, just so you know that those yeah. things are available to yeah. you, those are tools uh, yeah. that you can use and why sometimes you might use one over the other. In this case, look, you're reading one file and then outputting to another place. Well, sometimes you're not doing that. Sometimes you have data and you just need to append it somewhere out. Then it is a loop that you have no control over. Then in that case, just go with the file, write to it, whatever that is, a loop field. And that's, and then you close it after a loop is over. Right, make sure that's you all. close it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If you don't close it, then the file is going to be locked until the program exits. Yep. So whenever I use the file open here like that, I always write the three things first. I yeah, always have them. Yeah. I just have the file open, file write, file close. And now I put the, the whatever I want to write. So if that's it, I, I just move it in my code to where I'm going to be writing. And then this, I put it outside of the loop and that's it. So I just move the code, but I always write the open, write and close first. 
<laughs> so that I don't forget later on, right? <laughs> but that's it. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks, man. Very interesting. <laughs>